everybody, check this out. Lots of green onions. Yesterday, I went to Korean grocery store in New Jersey, and I found a really, really big sale for six bunches, only $1.99. I had to buy. A lot of people have requested this recipe. It's kimchi made with green onions. Green onion kimchi in Korean, pa kimchi, pa. How simple it is. Everybody say, pa kimchi. <laughs> Let's measure three pounds. So this is three pounds. These guys, are, I don't need this. When I lived in Korea, the green onions are thinner. In America, some green onions are kind of a little different, a little plump and shorter. And also it's always like cut off like this. So I just found out how to make a green onion kimchi with this. I usually cut off into bite size pieces. This root cut off like this. I will put this in a bowl. Take off the rubber band and check out any kind of dirty stuff is there. I just cut this way. You see, some kind of this tip part, they already cut off, but something like a kind of dirty looking, I like to remove this. And this, why did I collect this? This is going to be a really good ingredients when you make a delicious stock. You can add this to anchovy kelp stock or a vegetable stock. And I'm going to wash this. So rinse and drain, rinse and drain around three times until there is no dirt. Shaky, shaky to remove the, all this excess water and put this in bag. I'm going to season this with fish sauce. Making pa kimchi is very easy compared to napa cabbage kimchi because I don't need garlic because this is already, it has a spicy flavor. So I don't need to add garlic or ginger, radish or other stuff. I don't need anything else. When I lived in Korea, I used real fermented anchovies. Just fermented anchovies and boiling and then strain this, all these fish bones and then cool down and I use. So I'm showing you easy way how to make this kimchi. Fish sauce, one cup. Pa kimchi should be salty, unique taste. So we gotta add this last of fish sauce and then I'm going to mix this. Yes. By the way, if you are vegetarian, instead of fish sauce, use soy sauce. Then, let's make a kimchi paste. Three cups of water. And this is glutinous rice flour, quarter cup. Then, turn on the heat. Medium-high heat. I just whisk with this. Occasionally, stir this until this is all cooked. Couple of years ago, my mom, me, and my sister, we went to some you know, picnic, all day picnic. Of course, we have to make some lunchbox. In you know, Los Angeles, there are Korean grocery store sells all kinds of delicious side dishes, and also not very expensive. Kimchi, we had to choose one kimchi. We three of us look at each other, pa kimchi. So that's it. Pa kimchi is such a, like a really delicious and pungent and if you love it, you are supposed to keep eating. So everybody loves that. Anyway, my family, you know, we love pa kimchi. Look at that, bubbles are popping up. And still color is white. And then I'm going to add sugar, two tablespoons. Just to keep stirring. I'm going to turn down the heat to medium and keep stirring until it's kind of a little bit translucent. Also, maybe some of you guys, oh, Mangchi, the color, the sugar color is white brown. This is an you know, organic cane sugar. So that's why you can use brown or white sugar. See, this consistency, translucent, okay. Turn off. 
All I have to do is to wait until these green onions are nicely salted and my porridge is totally cooled down. So see you soon. I just uh, salted and for one hour, one hour, every 20 minutes, I turned it over. I'm going to strain this. I cool down thoroughly and add here. We can add this gochugaru, hot pepper flakes. That's it. That's the, the, all this we need to add this here. So one and a half cup. I came from Jeolla province from Korea. Pakimchi from Korean Jeolla province is that we use this really thick, heavy paste and it should be really red and spicy. So one and a half cup Korean hot pepper flakes and half cup and mix all together. Sooner or later, this paste will get thickened because these hot pepper flakes are going to be soaked into this porridge. So you can wait for 30 minutes. After they more, these hot pepper flakes are well, well soaked and incorporated very nicely in creamy paste. But I'm busy. So just only five minutes after, I'm going to mix this all together. Looks nice and juicy. We made pagimchi today. This is so delicious looking, isn't it? Juicy and red. I know exactly the taste, what it tastes like because I've been using this recipe for a long time. I really enjoy fresh kimchi, but just fermented. After fermented, it tastes sour. That's also really yummy, delicious. So you can ferment outside the refrigerator. It takes longer than Napa cabbage kimchi. It depends on your room temperature. So your room temperature is high, warm, and it's going to be fermented so quickly. Otherwise, it just it takes around seven days. When you taste it, it tastes sour. That's the fermented kimchi. When it's fermented and transferred to the refrigerator. So keep in the refrigerator and always serve cold. So this kimchi. Let me taste. This is spicy. Pagimchi is very special because it is a delicious but very smelly. Smells last in your mouth for a long time. So I suggest the eating weekend, only weekend, Saturday, Sunday eating. Monday morning, if you eat this pagimchi for breakfast with rice, and your smells, that smells going to be all the hours and hours in your mouth. You will give people special breath, green onion breath. <laughs> If we want to punish somebody, just go ahead. But I usually eat it for dinner or just the weekend, you know, eating. Or anybody, your family member don't care about you or just green onion smell. It's okay, isn't it? It's close enough. <laughs> Whenever I see the green onions on sale at a grocery store, that remind me of my friend, old friend, Mrs. Yui. She's Chinese. I met her in Missouri when I studied at the ESL class. She was one of my classmates. 
One day, the school has a picnic day, really big picnic, and all classmates and everybody just, uh, we went to picnic. And she came over my house to, you know, go together with me. She saw in the, my refrigerator, my kimchi containers, huge kimchi containers in my refrigerator. Her eyes are like getting bigger and bigger. Ooh, you make this amount? And then also green onion kimchi, pak kimchi also. And she was so surprised. And then later, like she just, you know, a few months later, she called me. Hey, this now just this grocery store sales, a big sale, green onion. So I just let you know. So what a nice person, you know. She knew that I, sometimes I make green onion kimchi. I need a lot of green onion, but I'm a frugal housewife. So she just think that, okay, this is good information. I really miss her. She went back to her hometown, China. Her husband is working at Tianjin University, but we just a couple of times kept in touch, you know, so Christmas, you know, time passes, just also I lost contact with her. So, you know, while you are living and, you know, especially, you know, certain time that you met some friends or friends who influenced me or I influenced them. And at the time, just we were really close friends, but, you know, time is, uh, life is uh, all complicated, and then we sometimes in you know, ups and down, or just we, we simply forget, you know, past. But this kind of good memory is never forgetful. So I always think about her really kindness. Hey, just now this is on sale, you gotta go there. <laughs> Whenever I see the green onion on sale, I think about her, Mrs. Yui. <laughs> so today, I showed you how to make pagimchi. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.